we're currently investigating why people lose weight, why are some individuals able to keep the weight off for a long period of time, and why are some individuals more prone to yo-yo dieting. We've interviewed people who have lost up to 11 stone in body weight, and then there's other people who, over the period of five years, even though they're dieting on and off, actually put on a couple of kilo. Now, we're not actually going to release the final documented version of our investigation until May or March next year. The only reason why is because then people will either be trying or they'll be more interested. They'll be either trying to lose weight after Christmas or they'll be able or they'll be looking to lose weight before the summer. But just to make sure you're not waiting too long, we're gonna reveal the information that we found as to why people or the difference between yo-yo dieters and people who are going to you know, make a drastic life changing decision to lose a drastic amount of weight. And they both start off in the same situation, i.e. for them to continue the way they are is far too painful for them to continue doing what they're doing. So therefore, they're forced to make a change to get more pleasure from their life. So being, the current, being in the current state is too painful, they therefore have to make a change to, to lose weight so they feel happier in themselves. But what separates them initially is that the yo-yo dieter will be depressed. They'll be constantly craving sweet food. They'll be losing weight for a negative reason, i.e., because they don't like the way they look. As opposed to the yo-yo, as opposed to the person who's going to lose a drastic amount of weight, they'll actually receive positive reinforcement very quickly after. So they might have someone telling them how great they look. They might feel a lot better, but. As well as that, their whole attitude towards what they're doing is far more positive. So, for example, rather than losing weight because they feel so rubbish and they don't like the way they look, they'll actually lose weight because they have a vision of themselves and that vision is so positive and it's so inspiring that they want to achieve that and that's what drives them carrying on for longer. So, first thing is they have a very positive vision as to what they want to accomplish. Second of all, they have a mantra. Now, a mantra is a sentence or a phrase that you repeat day after day uh, to reinstate the principles of what you're trying to achieve. So a very popular one for people who have made life-changing um, amounts of weight loss and this, this phrase is actually, or this mantra has actually come up quite a few times and that is food is fuel. So it can completely changes your belief system to what food is. Food is no longer comfort, it's no longer something that you use to decrease in stress. Food is fuel. It fuels a healthy lifestyle and it fuels what you're trying to accomplish. And the last, um, the last is to just continue that positive reinforcement. So they have, they allow themselves to, um, uh, they allow themselves certain rewards for their accomplishment. So one guy had a shirt that he was um, too sm too big to fit in, and his first goal was accomplished when he could wear that shirt. Then after that, he might reward himself with um, going and doing certain events which he didn't think he'd be able to due to low self confidence. Notice how they're not actually rewarding themselves with food. Never ever reward yourself um, with food because this is that's the problem. That's the the reason why you're here in the first place. Um, it's because you're. Uh, rewarding yourself or trying to pick yourself up with food. If you want to reward yourself with food, then have a really nice, healthy meal at a, a gourmet restaurant or something like that. Don't go for a KFC or a McDonald's because it's just rubbish food anyway. But those are the, the three principles as to the, the difference between yo-yo dieters and people who lose weight and keep it off. That is having a mantra, having a vision, and you know, sustaining a, a healthy balance of positive reinforcement. Let us know what you think of this video, comment below and share if you, uh, if you agree or if you take inspiration from this video.